apply the spiritual aspect of yourself in reverse, though. You can re uh, reference delays, negative mindsets, self-doubt, or lack of confidence, and need to tune out negative mindset and define inspiration. Uh, this potentially could mean that you and August are not feeling so sunny, bright, light, right? Um, this way, it shows that it's coming, it's like she's embracing it, or it's coming out, or it's like a harmonious connection. Uh, this way, it feels like you're falling into it and burning up uh, spiritually, and you're like, uh, all this talk, I don't know if it really is as it says it is, but your intellectual, I think, will reflect more about this. Four of Wands in the intellectual aspect of yourself. Celebration, prosperity, an important event or milestone. Gathering of souls, kindred, stability in home and relationship sometimes signifies marriage. So actually, you know, referencing back to the sign in reverse, um, maybe it's because you are celebrating and you're all up in your head. And all up in your head and thinking about how life can be great and good and you're not embracing the spiritual aspect of this and you're focused on thinking too much or you're too much in your head potentially but it's not necessarily a bad thing it's just that you're neglecting the spiritual aspect of yourself in August maybe it's because of you need a little retreat from that kind of thinking um, and you've done a lot of work maybe about the spiritual and you need a little break from that kind of aspect of your life so this the, the sun in reverse isn't necessarily a bad thing the sun isn't really a bad card so um i think you're just trying to enjoy life in your moments that you're, you're having five of swords in the physical aspect of yourself Does this reference conflict unfair advantage experiencing loss the need to build your skills and your confidence hollow victories um the raven nevermore annoying you but the raven knows more and you're like ah that's what is causing my headache though bro uh, i want to be on the mountain enjoying the heavenly light coming down on me i don't want to hear you in my ear uh, that's this reference is back between the intellect and the spiritual you know the divide that's why you're like i'm just trying to enjoy my life um, but this is physical so this could be a financial um, materialistic home life and, you know, the physical plane of what we deal with on that aspect of our, of our lives. Um, nature, potentially, whatever you consider to be the physical aspect in your life is not getting the attention you want or you're not getting what you want out of it. And you're like, you know, you're being torn in two and trying to just enjoy what's going on, I guess. But there's other things like Seven of Swords, social aspect that's causing problems. We'll get to that. Seven of Swords in the social aspect of your life. Deception or betrayal, talk, uh, taking only what's needed. The universe bearing witness to true intentions. Getting away with something. Being strategic, being grateful for the resources you have. Moving silently and quickly. Uh, this also could be um, because we're once again on the Raven here. Um, somebody social aspects of yourself bothering the heck of you, out of you while you're trying to, you know, see in the moonlight that you have all this evidence connecting to what's going on with the social, right? And you're like, ah, shut up, bird. Which could be different, or it's certain individuals maybe, but not everybody. And you're just like, hey, let me do what I gotta do, okay? It's not necessarily you're doing something bad, but it's, you're doing something undercover and you don't want to hear the squawk, squawk, squawk from the birds flying around keeping an eye on you. Uh, but the social aspect of yourself is at the root down here with the physical, with the divide on your personal aspects of yourself. The world and the emotional aspect of yourself in reverse. This refer references taking shortcuts, the need for closure, and need to follow through, staying focused in order to complete an unfinished, unfinished task, a delay in plans, unmet dreams, but this is emotional, so that's why 
Uh, once again, all three of these are at the center of your divide between spiritual and intellectual. Your heart is like fed up or um, because, you know, it's in reverse. The world is not complete and from your eyes, from your personal world or, or how you fit in the world or your piece of the pie. Um, it's not, it's unfinished. You're, you're not, you got to focus and you got to do you. You got to, that's why the four wands intellectual is like, great. I, I know what to do. I can do this. Five swords. Ugh. That's physical, social, uh, spiritual. Yeah, I'm not feeling it right now. I got to focus. So these two cards right here are your, your heart and your mind. You don't even want to hear your heart, really, because you already know. That's just going to get you back to that vicious cycle that you may have been in, because it's in reverse, right? Yeah. Vicious cycle um, is causing your heart to feel unease. So it's going to be part of the stress as well with these two cards. Immortality, you are a lifetime long seeker, and your soul has journeyed and traveled to skins and forms and elements time and again. In this lifetime, you are being offered the wisdom of all that has gone before in order to continue the healing journey of your own soul. We are surrounded by the energy of the peach blossom tree, a great old tree that grows deep within the Kitsune realms, and those who reach it are small compared to its mighty branches. We are now climbing the tree of immortality. And as you climb, your soul is refining itself, becoming more pure, more wise, shedding all that once held you back. The tree of the immortals whispers to you that you are one of its children, that you are immortal, and that you will return to its branches again and again in the lifetimes to come. The tree of immortality knows that you are growing strong, and it will offer you to know some of its vast wisdom, so that you can climb further into the journey of the soul. You know, know that you are being offered, I am here in this lifetime, to complete your soul's task, to be surrounded by beauty and joy, and to have aspirations for your physical form. You are asked to not attempt to force some kind of inhumane perfection on yourself. Instead, the tree of immortality asks you to embrace yourself and to love yourself with patience and kindness. For with this love, there will come a flowering of the soul, and the joy and peace which you seek will come to you in this energy of love. For now, though, child of the peach flowers, sit a while in the branches of the tree of immortality, the tree that, that has seen infinite ages, infinite changes. Watch the fruits of the Spirit grow, and know you are seen, accepted, and loved by this wise and sentient God of the forest of the Katsuni. Uranus, genius, the public is wonderfully tolerant. It forgives everything except genius. A sudden bolt of a surprise that causes chaos. Uranus, the great awakener, is here to wake you up. According to myth, out of chaos emerge two expressions of deity, Gaia, Mother Earth, and Uranus, Father Sky. As the higher octave of Mercury, Uranus arrives to break the rules and snatch established structures. It is the planet of not only genius, but also intuition, which arrives in sudden flashes, just like lightning, seeming out of nowhere. Uranus is the revolutionary planet, opening up channels to higher mind and bringing about necessary changes which can no longer be resisted. The great humanitarian Uranus is not really personal, it is, and its viewpoint is one that is detached and unemotional. It symbolizes the one who doesn't really need a partner but is friend and soulmate to everyone. Those under the influence of Uranus are objective, just enough to derive reliable insight into other people's motivations. These types tend to be brainy and cool. Such detachment is needed when everything is about to be turned upside down. Another very important element of Uranus is to be is, is its link to technology advances and how the future is going to look and be. When the Uranus card comes up in a reading, there will be jolts and surprises in regards to your question or focus. After all, Uranus is the upstart planet, so there won't be any smooth ride here. You can anticipate matters to turn rather eccentric, if not shocking and not in the way you expected. Don't look upon those mani these manifestations as wrong for you. Instead, go with it and see how your life becomes transformed in ways not exactly as you predicted, but better. You may, you may feel excitable or nervous at, at present, especially when it comes to the things you are currently focusing on. It may seem as if everything is speeded up, even forced against your will, but it is not a good idea to resist. The best approach is to entertain the possibilities of what you are about to learn. You can anticip anticipate this change to be a liberating force, 
offering a new course of path. Since your earnest is the planet of technology, you may find yourself having to master a new tool, a machine, a computer, or even jobs involving the internet. Since Uranus is the planet of air, storms, and lightning, anything having to do with flight, path, messages carried via the air and electric energy will be a major part of it. Phones, television sets, computers, artificial intelligence, and bionics may also figure. Your surroundings may start exhibiting electrical malfunctions. It is important to pay close attention to the wiring in your home or office. An alternative, and it is also important to point out the connection between Uranus and the alternative forms of sexuality and gender identity. In fact, in Victorian England, homosexual and transgender people were referred to as Uranians. Therefore, you might find yourself among people with alternative viewpoints, sexuality, and sometimes people of different class or background. All in all, the card means your life is about to be changed in the big ways rather than small ones. The Uranus card says, go with it and see what happens. Retreat. Spend time with nature. Seek silence and solitude. Within each session, nature is in perfect harmony with animals and planets, or plants. Secret gardens are bountiful, hidden away from the public and blessed in abundance of natural light. Being in nature allows you to naturally reset and recharge your energy fields while grounding your energy in the present. Being constantly available removes your ability to retreat and hibernate when your soul is crying out for solitude. Nature brings all we need to survive and it is within nature you can remove yourself from any situation. Creating space between you and a particular issue will give you a better perspective. Your mind will become focused and clear towards your goals, desires, and best course of action. Exhaustion, stress, and chronic fatigue are triggering your fight or flight response. Being in nature will assist your body in resetting its biorhythm, synchronizing your energy into its natural cycle. Stress relief and emotional reprieve is achievable. Now, if you commit to placing yourself first, a physical retreat such as a holiday may be in order. Now is the time to escape. Your soul requires solitude. Find a special place, special place that you alone can call your own secret garden. It is here that you can pause and take rest. Know that you are removed and hidden from the rest of the world. You can reflect and escape from interference and detach from group or family conflicts without guilt. Finally receiving peace of mind and stillness and sunshine. Nurturing empathetic qualities gives you the, an opportunity to find joy and appreciate the beauty of simplicity. Stop and smell the roses. Don't promise to hold secrets you know you can't keep. Privacy is required. As matters need to be approached delicately and diplomatically, even if you want to shout from a rooftop. Take a step back and disconnect from technology. You need to spend more time in nature. An affirmation for you is, I am clearly aligned with the Earth's natural rhythm. I am able to process empathy with minimal disruption to my mind, body, and spirit. Hey Aries, this is your five aspects of yourself reading for September 2021. Aries, September of 2021. Nine of Cups for spiritual aspect of yourself. Page of Cups in reverse for intellectual aspect of yourself. The Wheel in reverse for physical aspect of yourself. Two of Pentacles in reverse for social aspect of yourself. And Five of Cups in reverse for emotional aspect of yourself. Box Fire the Kasuni message for Aries, September of 2021. Follow the sign. Black Moon message for Aries, September 2021. Sagittarius, I see. 
Sacred Power Message for Aries, September of 2021. Divas. 